I'm Dorothy. Hey, and I'm Pete. So hello everybody, my name is Maria and we are the Pacey. And as you already know, we are the period of Advent. And featured with St. Michael's Church, we have a video series called Advent Adventures. Each Advent Sunday, they come up with a craft, a message and a prayer. We hope that this series helps us reflect together, prepare our hearts for Christmas and experience Advent in a joyful and different way in these hard times. Hey there, great you tuned in. As we heard in the last video, Advent means something that is on its way or something that arrives. And today we're gonna make our own Advent wreaths. It's exciting, right? And what do we put on an Advent wreath? I give you three options. First, glow sticks, candles, or torches. What do you think? I think you guessed right. Yes! Candles give us this well-known warm candlelight we see in lots of windows outside during the Advent season, right? And as we wait for the birth of Christ, Christmas Eve, we light candles on an Advent wreath in order to prepare our hearts for this wonderful day. And luckily we also have other kinds of light, right? Like light bulbs or LEDs. But why is light so important? Let's go have a look! Wonderful, now I know why light is so useful to us. And look what I've got for you today. I love to look at the dance of the candle flames and think about the one and only Jesus who came down to earth about 2020 years ago to be the light of the world. And as I think about it, I just love to be joyful and dance like the candle flames because it's so good what he brought to us and that is what Christmas is all about the arrival of Jesus and that he brings the light for us and of course there's more when you, when you open your Bible in John's first chapter one of the Gospels um, you see that he writes in God was life and that life was the light of all mankind, of all humans, and the light shines in the darkness. And as I take out the light here, you see that this light still shines, and another LED. And I take it on again, you see me again, woo! Um, nice. Isn't that amazing? This light shines even in the darkest times. And this light is not like a candle or an LED or a light bulb, but it's a light of joy, of encouragement, of hope, of a smile, or of like doing a good thing. This light is so cool that Jesus even wants to ask you, do you want to be a light too? And that's my, if you want to take a sentence from today's message 
and I've got a sentence for you that you can remember. And this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. As we've now already heard from Pete that Jesus is the light of the world and today's topic is also to share the light, we thought it would be really nice to craft our own advent wreath. And that's what we are going to do now. So you can just follow my instructions and then you have your own advent wreath to light during the advent Sundays. Alright, so today we are going to craft our own advent wreath. For this we need green clay, a little bit of glitter, four tiny candles and a tea light. At first we are going to knead the clay until it is a soft mass like this. Now we are going to roll it in our hands and finally form it into a wreath. The next thing we are going to do is sprinkling the glitter on the advent wreath that it looks really Christmassy and sparkly. You can decide how much glitter you want. I would suggest that you lay something underneath your advent wreath like a paper, like I did, that the glitter does not fall on the ground. And now we can already put the candles on the advent tree and put a tea light in the middle. Yay, we finished our advent wreath. Well done everybody. Now advent can come because we are prepared. Now we are the candle for Christmas and we have to stay still. As we look at the candles, we think about how Jesus was the light of the world. Uh, as you already know, each candle has its own meaning. And for this week, actually, the first candle has the meaning of hope. The same hope that Jesus brought to us when he was, uh, when he was born. And uh, now I would like to make a prayer and if you're comfortable with it, you can close your eyes. So let's pray. So, dear Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you for this lovely video that we had. And I just want to say thank you for being the light of the world. And please remind us, remind us the me actually meaning of, uh, of Christmas. And please warm our hearts. So that's why I pray. Amen. So yeah, I hope to see you next week with another video. So yeah, bye!